happy sunday y'all and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a another video today's video is going to be a mommy and me morning routine and every single morning i start by just drinking a whole bunch of water and then i read my morning devotional for the day and i also take a look at my to-do list and add anything to it if anything needs to be done if i thought of anything from the night before this particular morning stella woke up she normally does not wake up this early but i did have to go in there and feed her which kind of took about 20 20 25 minutes um, so my morning routine was just put off just by a little bit but that's okay after coming downstairs I just go ahead and get myself some more water drinking water in the morning is just super important because we don't drink any while we're asleep so we just wake up pretty dehydrated so drinking water first thing in the morning like I said is just super important after that though don't worry I do have my morning coffee which is very much so needed I do want to point out that this is my perfect morning routine. This is not what my everyday looks like. I don't want you to be comparing your average morning to my perfect morning routine. This is what I aim for. This is my goal for my mornings, but it doesn't always happen like that. Stella sometimes has a really hard night, or maybe I'm just not feeling up to getting all of this done first thing in the morning. So like I said, this is a, in a perfect world. Um, so don't compare, like I said, your average morning routine to this. While my coffee is brewing, I'm just gonna go ahead and dry all of these dishes. Ryan is usually a super great husband and washes his dishes uh, from his breakfast or any dishes that may be left over from the night before, but it's just one less thing that I have to do in the morning. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and make my coffee. If you have not tried this Nut Pod coffee creamer, it is amazing, it is my favorite. I feel like I talk about it all the time, but it is definitely worth the hype. It is just so clean, um, but also really good. After I make my coffee, I go ahead and get cozy on the couch and I read my Bible. I am reading the Bible in a year, so that is what I am uh, focusing on every morning is just spending some time in my Bible and with God, and I'm really enjoying it. This particular morning, you will see in just a second that there happened to be a spider right beside my coffee, so I had to go ahead and take care of that before relaxing and reading my Bible. If you look closely as I set my coffee down, you can see the spider in the window right here. After I spend some time reading my Bible, every single morning before Stella wakes up, I vacuum the whole downstairs. We have Ruger, our dog, who sheds like crazy, and now that Stella is crawling, I feel like she just constantly has dog hair, so I do my best to vacuum a couple times during the day, usually once before she wakes up. Uh, before she goes to bed and once during the day like I said the dog hair just is out of control and it drives me crazy so I make sure that I vacuum as much as I can Another reason why I like to vacuum first thing in the morning is because I will be getting my workout in and sometimes I'm laying on the carpet and I just, like I said, try to stay away from all the dog hair. But I do make my way upstairs, open up the blinds, the sun has risen at this time, and I go ahead and make my bed. As you can see there, we have a pretty view of the mountains if you can look over and ignore the fact that we live right next to a freeway. Something I forgot to mention, but when I first wake up, I do put on my top half of the outfit I'll be working out in, but I like to stay cozy and keep my pajama sweats on. Um, but when I do come upstairs, I put on my workout leggings and get ready for my workout. 
Some mornings Stella wakes up before I can get my workout in, but this particular morning I got lucky and she was still asleep, so I got my workout in. And I did want to show a prettier view of our mountains because they are so beautiful. But we are going to go ahead and go downstairs and get this workout started, but not before opening up all of the blinds downstairs. My workouts usually are about 30 minutes long. This morning, um, I would say my workout was probably closer to 40. I obviously didn't show you guys everything, but I did want to just share a few moves. I don't know if you can tell, but this morning was filmed, or this video was filmed on a Monday and it was leg day and it was difficult. I was extra lucky this morning because Stella was still sleeping, so I got my shower in before she woke up. She did end up waking up shortly after my shower, so it was about a little before eight o'clock. I wanted to show you guys what I use on my face every morning. I wash my face and night, I guess, with Origins uh, Checks and Balances Face Wash. I love that little scrub brush that it comes with, as well as the lip mask. It is super hydrating and amazing. And because Stella is was super content in her crib this morning, I decided to go ahead and move forward and do my makeup before getting her. I am definitely not a makeup expert. My makeup routine probably takes me less than five minutes. I just put it on very quickly. As I do my makeup though, I do like to listen to a podcast or sometimes I like listening to a book on Audible. This morning I was listening to the podcast Build Your Tribe, which is business related. I like business podcast or anything that has to do with health and fitness or anything that is faith-based. If you have any mom morning hacks or anything in your routine that you think is super helpful or valuable, I would love to hear it. I am trying to work on my time management right now. I think I'm just not getting the hang of getting things done in the morning while still being a mom. I know that it requires me just getting up super early. So any kind of hacks or anything that you find that helps you, I would love to hear it. You'll see here in just a second, I get Stella and it is the absolute sweetest. She was being so sweet and cuddly this morning. However, she was super invested into the camera and the camera just kept making her giggle, which was super sweet and I loved it. Um, but I also just wanted some attention of my, of my own. I love these mornings. I love this morning snuggle. I love our morning feed. I know I'm going to miss this so much someday. After having a little one-on-one -on -one morning snuggle, I'm gonna go ahead and fold this load of laundry. I am that crazy person that keeps up with laundry. I don't let laundry pile up. I don't let folded laundry sit for too long and I just like to get it done. So I also like doing my laundry with Stella. I like doing it on the ground because I just feel like she's more involved and it just kind of is more of time of us just spending together. She is just so cute thinking that she's helping me. It's true. 
After we do the laundry, we go downstairs and play. I like to open up a window and just get some fresh air in and turn on my diffuser with some oils. Once again, I just love having these early mornings with Stella and just playing with her and being one-on-one. -on -one. I did my best to keep my phone away, the TV off, just so we can be focused on one another and play together. She is just the absolute sweetest. Playtime doesn't last too long though because Stella goes down about an hour after waking up and that is where my workday begins. If you are wondering why I haven't had breakfast yet, that is because I am intermittent fasting, but about 11 a.m. I do break my fast with my green smoothie. I drink this every single day. I share this recipe quite often over on my Instagram, so if you're interested, go ahead and check that out. But this is where I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe. It really does help support my channel and I really do appreciate it. Stay tuned for next week's video. I'm going to be doing a clean and spring decorate with me. I'm super excited for it. So don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.